A couple of days ago, a video came out on YouTube showing us pro mode on the Osmo Pocket. And I was skeptical, I'll be honest. I had been burnt before from DJI. I had seen all the pre-release videos for the Osmo Pocket and it had all these features, but when I got my hands on run, none of it was there. And then we get this video showing us this pro mode. I was like, and maybe it'll be here in February. And then out of nowhere, at the end of January, DJI released the firmware. I've got it, I'm reviewing it after this. Hi guys, welcome to my channel, my name's Keith, and on today's video we're looking at the latest firmware for the Osmo Pocket, which gives us pro mode. It means now that you don't have to plug a phone in to access all the pro settings, set your shutter speed, and more importantly, we got color profiles, finally. Anybody that's been watching regularly on this channel and seen my videos about the Osmo Pocket, you'll know that I've been moaning like a trooper about the color modes on all that of there. So we finally got them and it means that we can shoot in a flat color profile and color grade the imagery properly, which is great. I'm really, really pleased about it. Anyway, I made a quick video to show you how you access all the settings and what you can do with it here. Okay, so we're just going to quickly show you firsthand the new modes that we've got with the Osmo Pocket and show you what a difference this actually makes. So basically now to use this, we don't really have to plug in our phone to set any of the settings, which is really, really cool because it really it can be a bit annoying having to plug the phone in to change the settings. So first off, the first one to show you is if you pull down from the menu like this and you scroll along to the right you'll notice the first one is this this basically means you can set your focus mode so you can set it from single shot or continuous most of the time you'll be using continuous in video but the fact that you can do this now without having to plug the phone in really really love it there are focus issues with this um, I think they're better now played around with it a bit for the last couple of days and I don't seem as see as many focus issues as I did but it's still not 100% perfect but it's better than it was but the thing I'm really excited about is this pro mode we can now set our shutter speed our ISO our our color mode which is the most important thing all from here without having to plug the phone in so we click on that now this is a bit finicky you click on it to basically activate the pro mode then to act to actually get into the settings we have to flip the screen back up and click in the top left hand corner here and we get this so the first thing, as I just mentioned, is color mode. We now have decine like, which is so cool. It means that we can color grade the uh, our footage properly and we're not using a, a predefined profile by DGI. Not that it's bad, but sometimes you want to do your own kind of color grading. You might want to give that slightly washed out effect, especially if you're doing travel vlogs, that kind of thing. Um, it's, it's cool that we have that ability now. We just get a nice flat video like you do on DGI drones and then you can color it yourself. You can now set your white balance. So I've set it to sunny because it's a sunny day. You always want to set the white balance to something. Never leave it on auto because again, if you're shooting in a flat color profile and you've set your white balance to auto, if you color grade it at a certain point and then depending on the conditions, your white balance changes, it can mess up your color grading. So always have it set to a particular setting, not auto. We can now obviously set our shutter speed here. So on the left-hand side, we can sh set it to whatever shutter speed because I'm shooting in 25. We've got it uh, frame set. We've got it on 150 and you can set your ISO. Best always have the lowest ISO possible depending on your light conditions so you, you don't get noise. And we can also set our um, volume for our microphone here. Now, I don't tend to use the internal mic on this. Um, it's not that bad, but it's not great. I'm waiting for the USB-C adapter, so that this might become more useful when um, the USB adapter turns up and we plug an external mic into that. I'll make a video about that when I finally get my hands on one. So that's pro mode for video. The cool thing is we also get a pro mode for pictures. So just to show you that quickly, we can now go here and we can set it to JPEG plus RAW, which means we get a RAW image format for shooting pictures. Again, really cool. If you don't know why RAW is important, basically RAW is an uncompressed file, so we get a lot more information. So when we're editing the picture, especially if we're bringing shadows up or something, we get a lot more information there um, than you do in a compressed JPEG. So you can get a much, you can do a lot more with the picture when it's not shot in JPEG. So that, that alone is pretty cool. Obviously you can set your white balance and you've got your exposure settings down here. So that's basically pro mode for the Osmo Pocket. Um, really glad we got it. 
I don't understand why it wasn't there from the offset. Um, we've always been able to do these kind of settings on the GoPro, so I don't know what DJI were thinking by not including it. Um, I'll probably make a video about about all these issues around DJI, but the, the fact we've got it now means that this product is finally what it was promised to be, and I'm really, really pleased, really pleased that we've got DC in a light color mode. That That's the one thing I've really been after, so that's really cool. Now, we also get story mode, which was much hyped at the time when the video came out, then it kind of died down they weren't hyping it at the actual release because obviously story mode wasn't there but we've got it so we're going to have a, a quick look at that now so to access story mode you need the osmo pocket plugged in and you need it plugged into your phone with the adapter not using the wireless module it won't work with that i can see the logic behind it because it's kind of like a quick shot thing you need the phone to show you what to do and obviously they reckon that having it plugged in like this means that you use the phone as the the monitor effectively i can see the point in that if you don't as i said if you don't know what story mode is basically story mode is quick shots for the osmo pocket it it, it sets up a number of shots for you then it will edit it down into a fun little video with music which you can then share on social media there's one in there that kind of does barrel rolls which i'm a big fan of um, and that's the one i'm going to do so first off we're going to access it first so to access story mode you will see a sort of colorful s in the top right hand corner here so we're going to click on that and we've got lovely music here so i'm going to the one called fashion and i'm sorry about this and then we're going to click start and then that basically is going to tell us how many videos we need to get to get what we want to do so the first one we click on there um, is 1.4 second you can adjust the um time if you want uh but we're just going to keep it on the default and we're going to shoot four different clips and then it's going to edit it down so i'm going to go away now and do that um because it's boring i'm going to try and use my dog hopefully and then i'll show you what the finished results are like afterwards okay so that was how you set all the pro settings on it and the uh autofocus modes which is great Still a few focusing issues with this, I think. Um, I was trying to film my dog a minute ago and I noticed it kept coming in and out of focus when it was on continuous focus mode. So there are still some issues with the focusing. Um, story mode, it's a bit of a gimmick, but it's quite cool. Um, this is the video that came out of it. Um, as you can see, a bit of fun. Uh, really only has usage for sharing funny little clips to social media but it is quite cool and, it, and the way it stitches the videos together and you have quite a good choice of different templates and music styles on there which i really like and it does give you the ability to adjust the times of the clips and stuff it's it, it's pretty cool uh, the one thing that confused me is when it saves the video after it's generated it it doesn't save it to its internal file system on the app so I couldn't find it at first and that confused me and then I realized what it had done is it saved it to the my photo roll so my photos app on an iPhone um it makes sense it's logical because obviously you're going to just want to upload it straight to the social media although you do once you've saved the video get a menu that comes up giving you the option to share to various different social medias blatantly geared to that don't seem much of a use for it in professional manner but you know it's cool so check that out uh, just to finish, to say, you know, the, the fact that we now have the ability to set pro settings on here without plugging the phone in makes all the difference. It makes it a much more usable device, makes it a lot easier just to whip it out and start filming because you can set everything really quickly. Um, I do find it kind of odd how you have to enable the pro mode and then it doesn't automatically take you into the settings. You don't have to get rid of the menu and go that that's not that intuitive, but Look, I'm not complaining too much because we've got it. And and more importantly, we got the color profiles, which is the thing I've been waiting for for ages. I want to color grade my own uh, videography, really. I don't like using that using their color profile don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with it but sometimes if i'm depending on what i'm filming i might want to use a different lut or i might want to give that washed out effect and doing it with the standard stuff that comes out of it it doesn't look so great so when you get that flat color profile you're able to much better color grade it really grateful we got it I, I have no idea why DJI didn't include this at the beginning. It, it, it still does not make sense to me. Um, every other camera in its kind of class allows you to set those settings on the camera. It, I don't know what they were thinking by making you plug the phone in. Uh, it, it, it was dumb, but 
look, this is DJI. They do this. Um, when they release a brand new product, it never has everything that they promise on it. And it always takes a few months for you to really like the product. They've actually been very quick. I thought we'd be waiting a few more months for all the stuff that, w that they kind of promised. Um, we got most of it quite quickly and it was a surprise. So thank you very much, DJI. But you should have done it in the first place. But that, that's it. Um, the only thing we're now waiting for are still a lot of the accessories. Still no release dates yet confirmed release dates really want the usb-c uh, adapter for this that allows you to plug in an external mic it's 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 really annoying that they don't give you a release date i i, I don't get why they don't communicate with their customers it's it, oh. but anyway um when we get that i've got one on order already um, as soon as it comes out i'll make a video on it and yeah, uh, hopefully we'll get the selfie stick as well because I want that as well for doing sort of wider angle vlogs. So again, hopefully in the next month or two, we will get that. Um, I just wanted to finish off the video by saying uh, I just hit 100 subscribers and I'm really grateful. Never thought I'd get there. Um, both my uh, two mates that I do a podcast with and my wife pushed me into doing this channel. Um, and I'm really glad they did. Um, talking of my two mates, uh, I've never really plugged it on this channel, but now that I've got 100 subscribers, I'm going to shamefully plug my podcast. Um, I do a podcast with two other my two mates, and basically we talk about all things pop culture and geek and movies and sci-fi shows. We do a lot of moaning about Star Trek Discovery. Um, if, you, uh, if you're into that kind of thing, check us out. We also talk a lot about video games. My two mates are really knowledgeable on video games. I'm more of a, an old school retro gamer than a modern gamer, but um, we talk about video games from time to time. If you want to, if you're into that kind of thing check us out we're on all good and bad podcast directories because i've submitted just to everything it's called the monkey nut punch podcast yep that's monkey nut punch podcast don't ask about the name it's what it is um but yes check us out on that we have a weekly podcast we're on itunes and all that kind of thing so yeah please check us out if you're into that kind of thing anyway again thank you for subscribing and i will see you in the next video Bye bye